<laughs> so, so cringe, bro. <laughs> so cringe, man. I bet, the, I, bet the, so, I bet the cringe. Hello, guys. Welcome to a new video. So today, I have a special one for you. I'm playing with the world's first Rep 70 Varangian guard, Mr. Sheep. So we're going to be playing some brawls. Um, throughout this whole video, though, there is a lot of, you know, just me and Mr. Sheep chatting. Uh, Mr. Sheep telling me a little bit about himself and you know what he does for hobbies and stuff like that So I wanted to include that in this video, you know, so that you guys can get to just know him a little bit better He does stream on Twitch. He is a very cool and interesting guy. He's super chill really nice dude So I'll go drop him a follow on Twitch. I'll leave his link in the description below but Yeah, obviously if you only want to watch the gameplay, that's fine. You can like skip to all that stuff, but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless and then let's get to know Mr. Sheep a little bit more. Let's get into it. All right, so Mr. Sheep, like, how how did you get like the first rep seventies in the world every time? Like, how did you grind for so many hours? Like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, it hasn't actually been every time. Um, the one where I did compete on but didn't get it was uh, Griffon. I only got uh, first on PC on Griffon. Their crow beat me by six hours. Uh. Uh, generally speaking, it's about uh, me and crow. Sure, there are other people that try to, but none of them can really keep up. Yeah. Um, and that competition between me and Crow makes it a lot of fun. Uh, it gives me motivation. For example, let's take Ocelotl. Uh, it takes yeah. a, a little bit over 300 hours, right, uh -huh. uh, to get Rep 70 for us. And that's that's with queue time and everything, not just in-game. <clears throat> mm. So I did Ocelotl in 15 days. This time around, it took me 20 days. So that's a big difference. Oh, okay. During Ocelotl, I slept, slept on average around four hours. Right. Right. And then the rest, I'll spend every single day just gaming. Right. <sighs> and you still get really tired and all of that. But that gives a lot of motivation when we're like, it's the competition between us. Right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously, I focus mostly on, you know, chat and the people that are there. And it's sort of... Doing the Rep 70s is the most fun, quote unquote, I have in For Honor. Because it gives yeah, me a, a goal. Yeah, it, it's a challenge and it's a competition. And that makes it like what is fun for me. Yeah. But then also I focus on, you know, the people that are there, chat and everything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it, it, but it's uh, it's honestly like, especially when I do these long streams, like, you know, 60 hours on Medji, I did 100 yeah, hours crazy. straight. How, uh, how did you do like 60 to 100 hours straight without uh, so it's uh i've actually done longer but not when gaming uh been up mm. uh, almost six days straight once uh that one mm. i was not voluntary though i just couldn't sleep since i got insomnia but obviously i do get tired and i do want to sleep when i do those streams but it's about uh like willpower but also technique and knowing how to handle it uh okay. let's say during these hours there's around uh like three to four hours during the night where I do get extremely tired. But then it's all just about pushing through that because once I know that once I get through that, then essentially your body gets more energy and you feel like you've slept. Yeah, do you kind of get like a second wind? Like yeah, kind of exactly. Thing. Yeah, I got uh, Warden's Tier 3 proc. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, yeah, no, you, you get energy again, right? Yeah. So, so that, that 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 brings me to a, another question, actually. So, you said it took uh, fifteen hours for Oslol, and you was in competition with Crow during that one, right? Ah, uh, yeah, 50, fifteen but days. Fifteen then. days. Sorry, not fifteen. Yeah, hours. yeah, yeah um, fifteen days. But um, but this time it took you twenty. But you wasn't in a competition this time, was you? Because no, Crow was Crow, Crow was it's, working so much, right? He's in the army, yeah, actually. Right. Um. And this time around, he's a mechanic, so this time around, he actually had uh, quite a lot of work. So this time, it was sort of well, didn't know. really have any competition. Uh, you want to do reels, yeah? Yeah, I, I accidentally took my fight uh, with you off. Oh, I see. I still don't have it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just use your... Uh, that's really good. Just try and use your zone to interrupt and be good. Yeah. It's funny, we're against uh, Rory, the BP. I uh, play a lot with him. Okay. Oh, he's but now we focus uh, BP there, because he doesn't have stam. There we go. Uh, he's on the ground. Oh, nice. Good. Oh, nice. Great. <laughs> that worked out. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I was, trying, I was, I was like panicking trying to get my uh, my hood back on because I oh, turned it yeah, off yeah. for a thumbnail. <laughs> <sighs> right, so yeah. Um, it, so do you think like it took you a little bit longer this time compared to Arsenal because you didn't yeah. have the competition? Yes, a bit more exactly. With it? Yeah, and it may, it takes me a, like waking up is so much harder when I don't have the competition. Yeah. Um, yeah, I it, mean, made, makes it makes sense, it so really. much harder. This guy's lost on there. Oh. There we go. Do I not have it? There we go. Confirmed it. She go. He's giving me a bonk. Uh oh. Ooh. <laughs> it's on Let's you. Oh. Oh my bad. Oh, yeah, but light. Played that wearing pretty bad though. I'm, I, I'm uh, not very uh, good at real too, so I will need your guidance for this. I'm gonna see if I can stick on Shigoku and you be on uh, on Warden, and then uh, try and target switch uh, your zone to try and interrupt. That's gotcha. pretty much it with Warden, really. Your zone okay. is your best tool, but obviously it takes a lot of stamina. Yeah, I'm just gonna bait his flips. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice dodge to be far from him. Bit of this up again. Oh, you can't do that. Am I gonna get a ledge from that? Oh no! <laughs> Come on, you got it. I got it. It's a jewel. I'm good now. Oh, I thought he was going to send that. Oh, he didn't dodge any of them. Nice, good job. We make the reads. We make the read. We're not going to. He's not going to send that shit, man. The windows. <laughs> so, uh, so you finished your rep seventy like not yesterday, the day before, and yeah, I take it yeah. you pretty much just like rested the whole yeah. like day yesterday. Yesterday I barely did anything except lay in bed and hang out with my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Pretty actually. much it. Oh shit. Also, I watched uh, Star Troopers. I've never seen it, so I watched it uh, due to Helldivers being out and all that. Yeah, man. It's a great film, actually. Have you played Hell Helldivers yet? I, I was no. going to ask you, actually, because I know you like to play it over games. Like, yeah. After you finished your grind and stuff. There we go. Are you uh, planning to play Helldivers? I, it looks awesome. Um, it truly does. I, from the little bit I've seen from it, I obviously haven't had that much time to look into it, but it looks awesome. But I'm going to wait a bit because I hear there's so many issues with the service right now. Yeah, it's pretty tough to get on because they've got like a limit of capacity, but mm -hmm. it's doable. It's do yeah. Like, there's a, there is a trick actually on Steam. You can join through your friends and you can kind of bypass the oh, menu I see, thing. I see. So. Yeah. Also, do you know much about the Varangians themselves? It's, um, uh, in history terms, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Is it is it true that um, <laughs> there wasn't actually a female Varangian in the real gods? Well, that is one thing because when people talk about the Varangians, they only talk about the Varangian guard. The Varangians mm. themselves were actually people that emigrated from Sweden into Eastern Europe and then lived there for a while. And then they actually integrated into society, but they still held their own and worked as mercenaries. But then they wow. also fought, for example, the Kievan Rus. They actually fought for the Kievan Rus against the Byzantines. And in the height of that conflict in 971, the Byzantines did in fact fight the Varangians themselves. And there they were indeed surprised to find female warriors among the dead. So there were, of course, female Varangian warriors, however, not in the Byzantine guards themselves. Mm. Uh, and this has been documented by one of the three chronicles that we have on them, by the biggest one, John Scalitz's Chronicles. We have the so-called Albidian Chronicles as well, I believe they're called. It's an Arabian source. And then the Classical oh, okay. Chronicle. So there are three different chronicles that talk a lot about them. Uh, John Skalitsis is the biggest one. He's also the uh, interpretations of the Greek fire. That's where yeah. he comes from. If you've uh, seen him, you know, then that's where he, he, he documented that. So if anyone want to learn about it, then look up the John Skalitsis Chronicles. Yeah, you, but, yeah. you're big into like, history, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a uh, reenactor as well, World War II reenactor. Oh, shit, that's cool. Yeah. Man, I am playing trash. I need to get some there flips, goes. man. Oh. 
I got Griffon. All right, nice. here. Uh, you wanna? Uh, you know what? Let's just heavy on my bash line. Okay. Do it. Wait. Let's see if I hit it. Got another one. Confirm it. Eee, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much like a basic gank, right? I need to. Yeah, the, the bash um, light, and then the, the other one heavy, heavy. But with uh, <laughs> BP, you can actually just continue the chain, and I'll uh, confirm every single one of those with lights. Oh shit! Okay. Oh, I was gonna flip that. I don't really play much BP at all in yeah? twos in team fights. Oh, nice. I need to get some flips, man. I'm slacking. Oh, he's out of stun. Oh, I'm loose as well. Oh, I should have uh, it. Go for your uh, bash left and then chain. Oh, he got me. Uh oh. That's nice. We, we just re react to guard break, like, it's easy. We've been those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with the BP in, in mm -hmm. group fights. Like, I, I, played, I played a lot in duels, <laughs> but... Uh, what you want to do is essentially just sit in the middle in the and middle. try and uh, flip, but okay. obviously they're going to try and bait it out. Ooh. Oof. Leafy does Did nice, or uh, Griffin does nice, it uh, keeps on uh, uh, hitting with the kicks. Nice, you see. Oh, I didn't have time to interrupt. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm so fucking shit. Oh, you got it, though. There you go. <laughs> Back your hand with the... Beautiful. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. Ah. <laughs> the oh, there we go. In there the game. we go. There we go. Yeah. Better looking at that now, like, fuck it all. Go outside, you fucking sad bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Some people I saw in uh, the comments of your video, someone uh, trashing my uh, fashion there. And of course, that's absolutely oh, the fine. Variant. I saw that, yeah. yeah but it was uh, just like what, a basic one, like, which is yeah, fine. You know? One thing of me is that. If you watch my other characters, I always have yellow as material, actually. Uh, just yellow is my favorite color. But it was really hard to match a material on uh, Varangian that was uh, yellow. So I always yeah. do my first sets, always yellow. So it kind of turned out uh, very uh, much like my affair. I thought you were just going for something like a, a lore, like a lore accurate kind of lore doubt. You know? So mm -hmm. that's why it was like a bit basic and stuff. Ah, uh, no, nah, it's, it's, I like uh, the... Uh, uh, I always put yellow material on there, and then I uh, took yeah. away the material on the chest piece. Yeah, um, I like the yellow and purple one you've got. <laughs> the Although I must say, uh, this fashion-wise, uh, best hero of the done, in my opinion. Uh, really? Finally, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, people said it's basic, and the reason of why is because it's historically authentic. But obviously, they still would have had armor, and the armors they would have used is, well, the obviously uh, basic chainmail, uh, which would have been, you know, Halberg, and then like maybe a Gambeson under, but then also mm. scale, and then my fav favorite, Lamellar armor. I love any type of Lamellar armor. Oh, so okay. I'm the hero has also the, uh, I love the platypus type helmet. <laughs> it's called two and the. That? Let's have a the, look. If you I'm, look I'm on only, the, uh, I'm only rep six. It, Do I have yeah, it looks like a um, platypus on the face mask. Heteria, I think. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, oh, yeah it looks like yeah, a platypus yeah, yeah, gotcha. uh, one. Yeah. I love those uh, helmets. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do here. Oh. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can hold the glad here. Okay, I'm gonna start cool. playing a bit more defensive here. Let's see if we can go on glad. Oh, I thought I dodged out of the way of that. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, he knew. <gasps> he stayed in that for way too long. Damn. 
Very nice, well played. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, gonna hit him with the. Stayed, it? <laughs> 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 oh man! Wow! 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 <laughs> yeah, I'll try and stay alive so we can both, both use it. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, win one together here then. Both still alive. Yeah. Okay. Mm, Conk loves probably. staying in full block. This Conk. Oh, is that your stamina? Oh, that didn't confirm it. Yeah, oh, nice. Block, right, it. I do double heavy on my best light. Okay. I'm doing empty dodge. That works. Let it rip. I confirm it. Uh, you want to do two double heavies here? Okay. Oh, I did too late. Oh, fuck. I grabbed that. There we go. Oh, well. Yeah, I, I, come, I did the light too late for it uh, to confirm. All right. <laughs> there we go. That was a bit sketchy that round from me, but that's all right. Yeah, I need to start uh, zoning when I land the shoulder bash because I keep getting disrupted. Yeah. Oh. I gotta stay away from that glad or uh, punk coming. Oh, that's a light. Oh, nice. That hits. Keeps getting me with his full block. Oh, Ooh. you got me. Come on, that's all you, bro. Nice. There we go. I was just waiting for orange, to be fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Luckily, the zone and tall subs pretty reactable. Oh, oh it's already over. It. Oh, I, I wasn't expecting. I didn't. I didn't realize the score. <laughs> we spend more time in queue than we do in games, bro. I know. Jeez. Uh, because they said they then you need to pronounce the G, right? It's not Varangian. It's Varangian, right? All right. Yeah. And that's that's fine. I for me, it doesn't matter which way you're saying it. But the Varangians, they were Swedish originally. Uh, it was only very late that they actually brought in Anglo-Saxons and such. So they were originally just the Varangians themselves that they recruited from the Eastern Europe. And the way you actually say it in uh, Swedish is uh, Veringagardet. Oh, shit. Okay. So, yeah, it's quite uh, different to that. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll never be able to say that. I'm no, not sure. I'm and, not gonna, and it... can even attempt to say yeah, that. Yeah, no, it's, and it's <laughs> sort of like, um, you can't, you can't really pronounce it, like, unless you're Scandinavian. So it's like, it doesn't, oh. you know, matter which way you, way you say it either way, in yeah. my opinion. <laughs> Same with, you know, Dormengander is the way people say it, but, you know, it's uh, pronounced Jörmengander. Yeah. Because we have uh, the ö uh letter oh, in our I, alphabet. I, yeah, I just say, like, Jörmengander. Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, you know, I was talking about how they have ugly jewelry. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, like, look at this, for example. That's one of the Byzantine crowns. Oh shit! It's okay. It's ugly as hell. So that's like a real fucking. That's uh, one of the crowns. Yeah, there's another one uh, that you have here, and they're ugly as hell. Oh god! In yeah. my opinion, they're, they're, the 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 jewelry is horrendous. That, but that's <laughs> the style they had, so it's sort of like historically accurate ugly. <laughs> yeah, for, yeah. I suppose you've got to be true to the. Yeah. Uh, people don't understand that though, do they? Like they look at it and they'd be like. Bro, Ubisoft, what the fuck is this shit? You know? Yeah, especially if you look on the. Um, yeah. uh, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Yeah, Send you don't a, realize uh, that they're actually just, you know. Yeah, if you look on the. What I like the most is the jewelry in the middle of the shield here that I have. Oh, it yeah. looks ugly. But that's sort of like. If you look in comparison to on the crowns, it looks very much how they had it. Yeah, yeah. So it looks yeah, ugly, like that. but that, that's how they looked. <laughs> so it's sort of historically accurate, ugly in my opinion. Yeah, are you are you friends with Raven Knight and stuff? Because he's like big into history. No, I I've seen some of uh, some of his video, but I don't really watch front of YouTube that much because he has uh, played the game like, so much. I feel like you get along really well with him because he's like Probably. big into history and he's actually a history teacher, I think. So oh. he's, a, he's a good, he's a really good guy. I like him a lot. A lot of time I mean, I. 
I teach history in a different way, especially when I do reenactment, because then we're in Denmark for over uh, four days, and then we have a camp set up and such stuff like that. Last year, it was 20,000 people that came by. Oh, okay. Um, 25,000? Yeah, they do a lot of other stuff, but then our event is the biggest where we do reenactments. The, you know, the Danish dress up as the Germans. Uh, mm. Me and the other, uh, our reenactment, we do the Fifth American Rangers. And <laughs> then we uh, obviously do these shows with, uh, we have explosions. They had last uh, oh, time shit. they had a uh, pack cannon. So when they fire the cannon, they, uh, someone's in a control tower and then they explodes. Do you ever record out. any like videos of this stuff? Or? I have some of it. I can. I feel like uh, that would send be pretty me. interesting to see. I can uh, see where I have it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's it's it's. I love doing it. Yeah. Uh, That's cool, last man. time I used the M1 Garand, uh, which you probably know. Oh, the rifle, yeah. Yeah, the M1 Garand. Uh, yeah, that was my favorite weapon in uh, Call of Duty World at War. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my favorite is uh, the one I use usually is uh, one called the, the Grease Gun. Okay. Ah, I miss Elden Ring, man. I can't wait for June. Yeah. Alright, I'll come to you. Yep. Alright. Let's see. I could try and be in the middle of here. Let's uh, see if you can be on the outside doing... Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Damage. This is a perfect comp for me to be on the inside of them. Yeah, I wanna be I wanna be in the middle here. Yeah, okay. I can get him free sissies. Just like that. Let it go. Oh shit, my bad. That's fine. Just here, what we gonna do here by the way, when they're this low, is one just throw a garbrick and the other one light. So just garbrick here. There we go, and I just lightened that. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, when they're 1 HP like that, just one guard break the other one light. Sounds good, sounds good. Alright, let's do the 70 emote at the end of this round if we both fall. Oh, yeah. Alright, see so if you can come up again. Come, Probably yeah, the shaman's gonna try and ledge you. I'll come this way. Just to be safe. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're waiting, which is nice. Okay. Alright, I go into the middle. Alright, you mean I couldn't fill block? Nice. I bash? Oh, I oh. bash him into you. Yeah, that's all good. Come on, let me bash, man. There you go. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking cringe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so cringe, man. I bet the so I bet the cringing so hard right now, man. I would love oh, to see the reactions. Man. Yeah, <laughs> that is so, it's so cringe. <laughs> oh shit! Shit, you straight on. He's mad now, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh shit! I gave him the CC. Oh shit! I'm getting fucking. Oh shit! Nice. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm getting fucking wrecked. Just uh, see if you can block. I'm gonna try and... Uh, yeah, I can't even block right now. Unlucky. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, I full blocked too early there. Ah. Oh no. That was terrible for me. I, just, I, I don't know. I, I don't think they enjoyed the... Uh, <laughs> 70 oh. mode combo there. No, they, they certainly didn't. I'm gonna have to take the long way around. Me. Yeah. Probably gonna jump on me. Yep. Oh, nice GB from him. Oh, yeah, Shaman will just target switch uh, for the bleed. Yeah. No way, my zone didn't hit them. What the hell? <sighs> you got this, bro. Oh, very nice. Oh, the oh, raw heavy. Yeah, uh, I think it was gonna. I think it was a uh, light there. Yeah. Well, well played. There we go. <laughs> Came with the cringe once again. One more time. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Oh jeez, it all went downhill for me after that uh, that double rep seventy <laughs> emote, man. I, just... I don't think they liked that very much. 